In this video, we will explain three concepts, trim size, margins, and bleed, to help you format your interior file. Trim size is the industry term for the final size of your physical book, after it has been printed and cut down to its desired width and height. The most popular trim size on KDP is 6 by 9 inches. But you can choose your trim size based on the type of book you are creating. Children's books are usually larger than novels. For example, 8.5 by 11 inches or 8.5 by 8.5 inches. And some novels may be smaller like 5 by 8 inches. Whatever trim size you choose, note that this will determine your page size for both your interior and cover file. Your trim size is important because it not only determines the size of your book, but also the number of pages in your book. On KDP, there are minimum and maximum page counts per trim size, which you can view on the set trim size, bleed, and margins help page. Be sure to account for your ink and paper type by looking at the appropriate column in the table. For example, a 6 by 9 inch book printed on white paper with black ink, can be between 24 and 828 pages. Once you've set your trim size, it's time to set your margins. Think of margins as a protective fence. All of the content you want readers to see, should stay inside the margins, to protect your content from being cut off during the manufacturing process. During manufacturing, books are printed on a larger sheet, assembled, and trimmed to the final size. So, if your book's content or live elements run all the way to the edges of your book's page, Text would be cut off when the book is trimmed to your trim size. Also, if your live elements are too close to the center of the book's binding, there is a chance that your content will be swallowed up. Setting the correct margins and keeping all live elements within the margins, ensures that your readers can see all of your content. There are four margins you need to set, the top, bottom, outside, and inside margin. The top, bottom, and outside margin are collectively referred to as the outside margins because they run around the unbound edges of the book. The outside margins are often the same, but they don't have to be, as long as they all meet the minimum size requirements, which we'll discuss next. The inside margin also known as the gutter is where your book will be bound. The inside margin is based on your page count, the more pages, the larger the inside margin needs to be so that your content isn't swallowed up in the gutter. You can determine your minimum margin requirements using the margins table on the set trim size, bleed, and margins help page. For books without bleed, use your page count after setting your trim size, to determine your inside and outside margins. For example, a book without bleed with 300 pages, requires an inside margin of at least 0.5 inches, and the top, bottom, and outside margins, need to each be at least 0.25 inches. For books with bleed, there is an extra step, which we'll cover next. Bleed is a printing term that refers to the way a file is set up to print. Setting your file with bleed means that objects such as, images, background color, or graphics can extend all the way to the edge of the page. To set up your file with bleed means that you first increase your page size and margins, and then extend the object beyond where the book will be trimmed. This ensures that the object will reach all the way to the edge of the page when your book is trimmed to size. Why does this matter? KDP allows a shift or variance of 0.125 inches in any direction during the manufacturing process. So, even if you place your image right on the very edge of the page in your interior file, there is a chance it will shift during manufacturing. So, instead of the image reaching all the way to the edge of the page as shown here, you could end up with a white line at the edge of the page where you didn't want any white space. To set your file with bleed, KDP requires that the page size be increased by 0.125 inches on the top, bottom, and outside edge. In other words, this means adding 0.125 inches to the page width and 0.25 inches to the page height. 
Additionally, your top, bottom, and outside margins need to increase by 0.125 inches. Even if just one page in your interior requires bleed, then your entire file should be set up with bleed. Changing the bleed settings will not change the manufacturing cost. For help setting your trim size, bleed, and margins try our paperback file setup calculator, under book formatting, tools and resources. Thanks for using Amazon KDP.